All right, so we got everything done on the car, and uh, it's time to perform the uh, Vanos bleed. So we'll just walk through some steps for that. So we want to use ISTA. We'll get that opened up. So while that's loading, I'm going to start up the car. procedure that can be used, so you click next, and then we want to go to bleed banner system, and then we go down here and click next, and it says run engine at idle speed, which we are, next, and then we're going to start the procedure, you'll hear the car as soon as the procedure starts. Solenoids. Let's 
to see how well they do on their reaction time. Next. On the test, yes. We got the engine running at idle. Now we're going to do the test. See, they're all starting out at 0 .9, 0 .9, 0 .9. I give odds that they'll start dropping them. Two of them dropped to 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. One went to 6, 7, 6, 7. So they're right on the bottom. 6 and 7. The exhausts are staying up to 0.8. We'll let it finish this test. That first set of data it gives you, I'm not sure what it's about. This is the actual test. It gives us our numbers. Now we can look. We'll see that those same digits, 71, 48, 55, that didn't change. Although it was different than the readings. Now we can see intake bank one. Says the spread is too great and the quality is bad. So the spread may work itself out. We'll see. So the exhaust, everything's okay on bank one. More intake bank two, spread is too great and the quality. And exhaust cylinder bank two, everybody's okay. So our intakes are a little bit slow. So I'll run the bleed one more time and just see if that's going to help them out. Uh, if not, since I don't have any codes, we're just going to keep driving until some codes come up. And then we'll see, maybe I'm going to have to replace some solenoids eventually, or I might first take them off and change the O-rings out just to see if I'm getting a little bit of bypass. So that's pretty much it. It tells you some more info on your minimum of 0.6, so we're right at the threshold. 0.8 on the exhaust, 0.6 on the intake, back two and 0.8. So everything's pretty level. I'm not too worried about it as long as I don't get any codes or or uh, limp modes or anything like that. So now we just go to next, and then we want to end the service. You want to make sure you do that in ISTA because it's going to go through and close out the service test and then you're done so now we want to go to operations we want to close the operation and this will take a minute so what I'll do is actually open the operation back up if you were going to do a second or a third bleed you wouldn't have to close the operation out but just to show you what to do I'll go ahead and close it out now everything's closed out. So what I'll do is go ahead and put the info back in, go back and select and rerun the Vanos bleed, and see if I can't get the intakes to uh, start responding a little bit quicker. Well, there you go. That's how you do a Vanos bleed on uh, ISTA. And I hope it helps somebody. And thanks for watching. All right, so we're finishing up our third bleed just to try to see if we can get our uh, vano solenoids to react a little bit quicker. I don't think the quality is going to improve any because these are the originals. Uh, we're trying to see if we can get one or two of the intakes to respond a little quicker. Both the exhausts were doing good. This is the third bleed and we'll see at the end of this how this performs. We'll see if we made an improvement. If we were able to get one of the intakes to come into speed then we'll probably run it around for a little while and then I'll do this bleed procedure again and we'll see if we can get the other one we may get lucky maybe both of the intakes will come in this time
But we'll see once we get the results on this third bleed. And now we can see the results. So this one says intake bank one, still not okay on its spread. Exhaust bank one is okay like it was before. Intake bank two now is showing good on everything but the quality, so that's good. And the exhaust is showing pretty good. So we did have one intake that came in on its spread. We only have one that's out. So we're gonna run the car around and drive it like normal. And then uh, we'll come back and do this bleed procedure again in a day or two and see if we can't get that other one to come in. If not, we may have to look at getting a replacement solenoid. We'll exit on out of this and uh, call this job done.